Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're back over at the property and we're trying to get a little bit more finished up from yesterday when we got rained on. But we did get our logs stacked and as I mentioned yesterday that I'm happy with it. That's a good, good little pile to start off with. And as you can see, we have some more from previously clearing and we're going to get those cut up and stacked up as well. Um, brush pile still there and a brush pile over here. And that's what we're going to work on today is trying to get this wet brush started. So wish us luck and we're going to use um, some little oil to help us get started. Another little trick I'm going to try is we have some seasoned firewood. <laughs> uh, actually, I call it my ugly wood. And we're going to stack some of that to try to build a little pit of um, and get something started to really help this wet brush uh, get started. So wish us luck and we're going to get started. All right, so I've got some dried seasoned firewood right here, a little piece of cardboard, um, a little diesel to help. And I'm hoping, I got a few more pieces, I'm hoping that I can get this to start, create a hot enough pit and that it will eventually get the rest of the stuff started. So again, wish us luck. going. Just went off. Okay. Good. So I'm over there cutting some of the uh, branches and, and, and just parts of the trees that are sticking out too far on the burn pile there. And what happened is that the chain popped off. And this is actually the first time that the chains popped off on this saw. But just wanted to take this time to show you that's a great opportunity to clean your saw because it definitely gets nasty in there. And a lot of times your oil port will get clogged up and not um, oil your chain properly. But this is another thing that happens when you sharpen your chains on the, uh, on the saw itself. You don't, you don't take it off. <clears throat> it doesn't give you an opportunity to flip your bar either. So just a couple key points to think about. You wanna maintain the inside of that covered right there where your sprocket is and all that stuff because it is gonna get caked up with sawdust and oil and your oil port could get blocked, clogged, whatever you wanna call it. But um, yeah, just a reminder, don't forget about this part of the maintenance on your saw. All right, back at the fire. And we definitely have a little fire pit going down there. So the, hopefully the, what I call again, my, my ugly firewood help get started um, or help this fire get started. So it's hard to see, I'm trying to get you a better shot, but we've got a great little fire pit going and it's gonna dry up all this stuff up here and eventually it'll help catch. Um, also, we are using a little blower to help um, stoke the fire that seems to help as well and it's gonna take a while because this is wet but I'm happy to see that at least it got started because this is a pretty decent sized pile and I'm sure you can tell it is very green so we're gonna keep working on this I got a couple other things I'm gonna work on while I'm here today
fire's still going slowly not quite as fast as i was hoping it'd be but i wanted to while i'm waiting on that just kind of show you my plans for the new firewood yard and <clears throat> if you watched a couple of videos ago this is what we were working on right here so <clears throat> again you guys help me design this because as of right now i had this little road in let me show you up here up past the bobcat and the fire right there the burn pile is on the other side of that is the driveway coming in and it's going to be 1600 feet which this is pretty close to halfway mark so call it 800 maybe even 900 so a little bit further past but you come on in and you go through here and i was thinking about cleaning this area up, up right up here to store the logs maybe in the back back there put the wood splitter and then just have some staging areas here obviously i'll have to get some road base in here which i'm hoping that i have to hook up on some recycled asphalt so i'm going to try to get some of that in there it's a little bit cheaper and it's a pretty good base if we want to put anything else on top of it but we have a lot of work ahead of us because here's another huge um, pile of debris and i'm six foot and it's way above my head so got a lot of work to do but we'll chip out a little bit of time this isn't going anywhere this isn't going to stop us from getting anything done either so <clears throat> but this is the future home of the wood yard so stay tuned and we will show you little pieces as we can chip away at them all right everyone well we are just about finished up for today we uh been working on that burn pile most all day but i feel like we finally just got it going good so it's going to smolder all night long and then when our guy gets back here tomorrow to grade there'll be at least something he can throw some some more debris onto but uh we're gonna take a little ride in the bobcat here and i'm gonna show you what the progress looks like so far in the driveway all right so this is all we've really ever been able to come into on the property. And this is what we've done little by little, but this has opened up a lot. We've got that beautiful black walnut tree right there. Keeping it, of course, a lot of really nice oaks on the uh, edges of the driveway there. And eventually it will be a beautiful canopy. Come on through here. Another little area where he's pushed a bunch of debris because this little section right through here was pretty thick. Nothing major, but just pretty thick. This section right here was where we cut that tree up yesterday and showed you guys the start of the firewood logs from this property. That's the root stump from it. But as you can tell, he's uh, just got started here because this is where we need to open it up a little bit wider. My plans are to have at least five feet of uh, area on each side of the driveway. That way I can have some nice grass area along the along the driveway. I think that's gonna look really nice, but yeah, so this area right here is gonna push a little bit more on that side. A lot of these oaks and some of these poplars we're going to try to push off to the side and use for firewood. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Alright, so the SD card was full on my GoPro, so I'm gonna finish this up with my phone but here's the uh here's the machine that he's using it's a cat 931c and i haven't been able to see a lot of what he's been able to do with it my dad's actually come by and watched him for a little bit and he said that he is pretty good with this machine but yeah a little bit older but seems like it's going to do what we need it to do but here let me show you what what we've got so far on the home site Here's what, um, kind of where the driveway stops. But let me show you. So that's coming down the driveway. 
his machine is going to be that's going to be driveway opened up right there it's going to come along through here all this is going to be cleared out and then we go to where the home site's going to be and he came through here and did one pass but pretty much from over there to back there which you cannot tell from this but just trust me it'll be about a third of an acre cleared and we may even do more there's a couple nice oaks in here we're going to keep for shade trees around the property but this is really difficult to try to plan what trees stay and what trees go because if you leave one and it's too close to the house well it's going to cost you extra later on to get that removed if you decide the house is going to go there but we're going to do our best to make sure that we keep a couple nice trees and as and always we can plant more i know it's going to take a long time for them to get big but uh, there's another black walnut right there we're going to keep and like i mentioned the oak in the back corner and then there's a couple small oaks over in the front but this is going to wrap up today's video. I wanted to show you guys this uh, while we we're working on this weekend. Um, it's probably going to happen pretty quick as far as everything getting knocked down. So I wanted to take this chance to get some video made up of the property before it's just all opened up. And just uh, so we can remember what it looked like before um, everything's pushed down and burned and one day we'll start building. But we got a lot of great plans, <clears throat> uh, a lot of high hopes and uh, and we hope that you guys will follow along with us on this journey. Watch um, how we can develop this and see the things that we learn. Hopefully we can teach people who are maybe doing the same thing um, a few tricks um, and, and save you guys some, some trouble there. But as always, uh, think about subscribing to our channel. Hit the like button, share our videos, and we'll see you on the next one.